Dino, first versus third in the National League tomorrow as Barnet take on Woking here at the Hive. How have you been preparing for this difficult fixture? We had Wednesday off after a long trip back. We didn't get back till 3am from Yeovil. A great result for all involved. And then Tuesday we come in, did some recovery. Uh, it's a video session, debrief on the, on the game from Tuesday night, how we can improve, how we stop giving up some of the opportunities we give up. Um, and yeah, and then today we've basically walked towards the game tomorrow and how we can improve. After two back-to-back -back away fixtures at two ends of the country, pretty much, will it be nice to be back in London in front of the B Army? Yeah, it's nice. Look, it's always nice to be top of the table, whether it's one game, two games, or, you know, ideally it's in another 43 games time. But, you know, we have to enjoy this period. Um, we've earned the right to be there, so, um, and we're looking forward to playing in front of our supporters. They were unbelievable for us, you know, in the last two games. Um, we, had, we had an onslaught on Tuesday night for the last 10 minutes. We gave up a sloppy goal when we were 2-0 up. And we've got to stop doing that. Um, but the division's difficult, so but our supporters drove us through that and hopefully they'll drive us through again tomorrow. 100%. And obviously we take on Woke in town tomorrow night. Sally's back uh, and so it'll be nice to see him. What are you expecting from his side tomorrow? It was the first game they played. Um, they made a lot of errors within the game. They played a lot of square balls against York and they were caught out of that. Um, he's gone more direct, more physical, um, playing off the front too much more. So it's going to be an up and at them game. To be fair to Sally's teams, they always try to walk the opposition. So yeah, it'll be a tough game and we're going to have to minimum match their walk ethic. Um, we've got our own game plan, so we'll see if we penetrate or not. But the one thing I know about this group of players is that they give their all. Um, and that's all we ask of them. They do that for themselves and their families first and foremost. And then we want to see if we can earn the right to show our ability. And we've got a lot of speed within their group. So have they. So it's going to be a tough game. And have you got any injuries going into tomorrow? I know that Musa missed the last game. Any update on his condition? He's back. He's available to play. So that's a positive. Um, Jamal Lozo's back as well from suspension. That's a major positive as well. So Keane Flanagan's trained this week. He's been out since, I think, February the 22nd. So he's got a couple of sessions under his belt. He's still got a little bit of time to go. We're expecting Daniel Powell back next week, training with the group and Sam Woods. So things are starting to look a little bit positive. We've got a few lads in training with us that are sort of on trial that we like as well. So there's, there's a lot of positivity around the place. Dean, as always, thank you.